Okay, on this problem, we have more um, data. So as you see, you are provided a list of the bedding attitudes uh, with the strike and the dip. So what we're gonna do, uh, which is the case in the you know for the most field uh, field work and the field data analysis, normally you should measure more data as this table rather than only two attitudes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and plot this and then I'll show you how you can actually come up with the geometry of the fold on this diagram, okay? So again, what we need, we need the dip of axial plane and we need the plunge of the hinge line or fold axis. So what I'm gonna do, I will go ahead and plot these information. So as you know, always, if you have a lot of data which you are going to plot on the stereo net, it's better you plot the poles because it's going to give you more space in on a stereo net. So uh, what I have done, I already uh, plotted the pole of the beddings. Okay, this is what I got, but um, I'm going to plot the la the first two bedding attitudes right now because I didn't do this. I just wanted to show you how I did. So, um, the first bedding, it's um, north 70 east. So from north, you go 70 degrees towards east, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, right? And then you place that one along the north-south direction, and it's 35 northwest. So here, it's my northwest, I need to count 35, and draw the grade circle, which shows the attitude of the bedding, but I'm not going to plot this because I don't need the plane and I need only the pole. So uh, in that case, what I'm gonna do, I will count 35 degrees from the center towards the primitive circle, and that's my pole. Or you can imagine if you had your plane here at 35, you need to count another 90 to get to this point. So it's the same thing. The, the shortcut indeed is counting 35 from the center towards the primitive circle, and that's your pole. 10, 20, 30, 35. The second one, so I'll get rid of that. The second one, again, north 70 east. So either counting 70 here, I can count 20 backward. This is my 70, and 30 northwest, so here's northwest. If you count 30 degrees and get the great circle and count, an, count, um, count another 90 to get the pole, you can do the shortcut and just count 30 degrees from the center towards primitive circle, and that's the pole of the bedding. So 10, 20, and 30. Okay, so far we have the pole of the owl bedding attitudes, so we don't need this anymore. And what we have indeed here, it's the bunch of the poles of the bedding. So what you're gonna do, um, you should actually try to put a great circle that's going through these poles. And we call that one as a pi circle. So um, let's place those points along one great circle. Okay, we don't need this. Um, so we have probably not this one too. So these are my poles, and as you see, there are you know some odd layers like that. You can ignore that one. And uh, what I'm doing, indeed, I'm trying to place all these points, okay, between two you know bold great circle. One is that, one is the other one, and I would say I can draw, okay, a plane somewhere here that shows. Okay, that's a kind of representative of these planes. So this is indeed is the plane that goes through the, all the poles. So if you have this one, so you can find now, I can find the pole of this pi circle, which we are going to call that one as a beta axis. And the beta axis indeed is your axial, um, it is actually, it's your fold axis. So here, as you see, 10, 20, 30, 35, right? So if I count 
90 from this plane, okay, that's going to be the pole. So here it was 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 90, right? This is your fold axis, okay? And what you're going to do, we, we have now the fold axis, we need the axial plane, and I know the axial plane goes from uh, go through the fold axis and central point of this this data distribution or point distribution right so the point starts here and ends here the distribution of the point and you need to find the central okay point of this data distribution area so from here what you can do it's let's say here it's one degree 11 21 31 40 uh, Again, 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101, 111, 121, 131, 133. Okay, I have 133 divided by 2. It's going to be um, uh, 60, another 6.5. It's going to be 66. Point Five. Right. Let me let me check again. Six thirteen six. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so sixty six point five. So you can count from any direction you want, and I'm gonna start from here. That's that's let's say two degrees. Twelve, twenty two, thirty two, forty two. 52, 62, 64, 66, and 66.5, somewhere here, okay? Somewhere here, and this. So now I have the central point here, and I have the fold axis. You place these two along one great circle, which seems this is the case, and you can draw your fold axis. Okay, that's my fold axis, and what I need indeed is the deep of this plane, right? So let's see what we have. This is my poles, this is the fold axis, and this is the axial plane. So I need the fold axis plunge. Um, you can place that one on east-west line. You count the angle, 10, 20, 30, 35. And the deep of the plane, let's say the deep of the axial plane, which is this one. So you place that one along the great circle and you read the dip, which is indeed, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 78. Okay, so we have these two angles. Let's go back to this my um, plunge of the hinge line it was 35 so you can divide this this is 30 this is 60 let's say you can actually do you know precisely um, this is my 40 this is my 50 and this is my 35 and I'll draw a line like that okay 35 and the, and the dip of the axial plane it was 78 so you have the 80 here then 78 here this is going to be 60 70 and this is about 78 so I'll, I'll drop the line like that and the intersection indeed is showing the, the, the fold geometry so my fold that I gave you the information should look like something between, you know, it's for sure it's a plunging inclined fold, okay, or you can say it's a steeply inclined uh, plunging fold, right? It's, it's in this region and in this region. And the geometry, it's gonna look like something like this, similar to this.